What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Upside DIY. So, I can't really see this during the day or anything, but I can see the red and kind of the bluish. So, it's working pretty nicely with this uh, kind of light and the cover that I've been making. And I've got a good tip um, to defog the lens. So when you got like a fuzzy picture and things, you try to clean off the lens, you can actually blow uh, or, you know, kind of, yeah, kind of um, use hot air for, uh, to kind of, because maybe on the other side of the lens, for example, my tablet has a camera on it and even this cell phone. So I just blow hot air from my mouth and then also the moisture can actually help clean the outside but sometimes a camera will be a little bit fogged up and things um that's how some pit like some really bad like videos um that people have on youtube sometimes uh you might find like one out of 100 so you just blow hot air on the camera and then just wipe it off. You can use your fingertips or something. And the camera should come out with a clear picture. So that's one of the things I learned actually today. So I'm doing quite a lot with um, winter prepping in December. So I'm getting these plastic bottles again for uh, planting stuff in the springtime. So I, I just have like a soil mix, uh, my garden outdoor and stuff. I use uh, pretty much plastic t uh, storage bins. And those, those are actually like water trays. And I can actually um, uh, just have, you know, plastic bottles cut and put, and I actually will have soldering iron and things to make holes. Some of them are just good enough for onions. I cut a couple, one bottle, you know, with the tops, I can save those and actually replant onions in those. And you get fresh onions, you get a fresher smell inside of your home. Um, and you know, with these plastic bottles that I actually collect, uh, even if I see them around, I um, cut them. So this one I'm propagating like a bamboo, but I've got to um, wash wash and rinse off this fungus that was on there. So I'm kind of putting it there. So yeah, with cuttings and pieces, like from these succulent plants, hopefully they'll grow out some roots eventually in a week or two. Uh, but yeah, for the springtime and stuff, I'm actually cleaning up some of this... Um, you know, like there I'm using a storage. I'm cleaning up as much as I can and just going to have my aquariums uh, to to work with. I'm actually, um, I re-glued a lot of the uh, trim. I cleaned up and re-glued uh, as much as I could. And I put pretty much a one bucket of water from the back aquarium as clean as I can and with the siphon, uh, what I did was I actually added like a sock type of filter, um, you know, using a rubber band and like a small sock. This is actually supposed to go on the inside. Um, when you pull it out, it's going to um, pull the sock back out. So maybe if you had like a filter floss or something in there too. Um, but yeah, the rubber band kind of holds it and hopefully um, that will actually... Uh, avoid a lot of the other debris and things and actually give the water a decent um, you know cleanliness um, so the water is still a little bit green there's some that's pretty much clear just because I have a carbon filter so I store my water inside like a 55 gallon and um, the thing about that is uh, it's, it's just saving water so I don't just throw out water and um, it's a pretty good thing to have when you're into the fish aquarium stuff. There's pretty much like a basket of a lot of stuff that I've been collecting, washing, and um, thinking about using eventually once I move stuff around. So, but um, I... When I get the water out of that, I don't have a water pump. I actually lost a water pump uh, from a different project. 
uh, I left it on on pretty much my boat and um, it basically got a lean on it but um so I'm trying to re-glue this too I should have really um, I you know when I was re-gluing this um, hinge part I've got this rock here to kind of hold this side down this plastic is a little bit warped but I could have uh, used some of the leftovers on this and with this one I actually um, I'm actually going to have to try to do that a little bit uh, just on the outside and then this should really be an effect you know I kept a lot of the uh, surface glue from the old glue you know I kind of rubbed off as much as I could of the old stuff and then I just reuse that because the edge of the bottle is is pretty skinny so I basically um, you know also melt and things like that plastic with soldering iron or even a closed iron I could flatten and smoothen out what I could but this is going to be a, uh, you know basically a one that's made pretty strong and should last uh, for a beta breeding or um, with sponge filters uh, you know I can actually kind of breed in buckets uh, they're really durable uh, I usually use them as watering trays and whatnot but um, what I do or what I would do is actually have like you know just looking at the stuff that I'm kind of washing I kind of have an idea of some um, pretty good DIY I could actually use these plastic uh, plants to paint um, glass you know just use them as a template or maybe even cardboard or you know I could just you know just spray paint around this or some, or somehow uh, maybe sprinkle some specks just just to have um, a decoration and design and then stuff like that so I'm really slow on, you know, getting things up and running just because I'm not trying to, well, you know, and washing and rinsing. Um, just because I'm actually just trying to sort out my stuff, clean things up. I'm collecting these plastic bottles um, and cutting them just in case for, uh, you know, small plants and things um you know I'm lucky enough to find some nice nicer smoother rocks uh, in, in different areas I'm um, getting some rocks uh, that are limestone and stuff I don't really want those as much as the um, nicer smoother ones so I have these uh, pretty much bottles plastic bottles to help me sort out um, and pretty much get the really nice smoother rocks that are more a little more um mineralized and glass quartz type stuff and you know just um just having them wet um actually you know it's pretty good so i gotta try to um rinse this off so i guess i just rinsed it off inside the bathtub i might have to peel off as much as i could but trying to just, uh, you know, finally got a nice specimen of bamboo, but it's really tough to really, um, you know, um, pay attention to one thing just because I'm doing a few other projects with the rocks and actually finding a good water, um, a water resistant glue so I think I found uh, uh, my next um, thing with with getting this glue and this rock right here has a lot of quartz in it so it's really nice if I were to use vinegar soak this in a bucket of vinegar a lot of the the sandstone would actually bubble off and then I would have one piece of quartz so it's really nice finding larger rocks and things but back to you know having some wood and even some glue. Um, I could really try to use the expensive epoxy in some cases, but you need the rocks and the wood to help uh, pH balance pretty much the um, 
as much as you can and I would actually try to make a glue out of silicone so I would actually try to um, glue this like this as a design and then it will actually add um, add a lot of features inside of the aquarium and um, basically I would actually have to glue it you know as best as I could against the rock in between the rock and the glue that I want to use I can try to use the epoxy but you know with the epoxy too you know you just mix it up but it doesn't you know have a lot of you know volume or space to it they're mainly for cracks and smaller uh, like hinges so I use the some of the epoxy and it just you know on cold days it doesn't really you know during the winter and stuff it doesn't really do as much as it does in the summer um, and plus it gets messy and things but um, mixing uh, silicone just just you know any brand of silicone and it's clear so I've got another tube of the clear silicone it says clear you, got, you know most of the time you gotta look around to make sure it's clear and then I use liquid heavy-duty nail so I tried each one separately to see if it's waterproof and sometimes it's really not that good but this is something I'm going to have to really try to test just with some side projects with the the project that I just showed you Pretty much having this piece, um, I'm going to actually try to use something really nice. The contours and things are going pretty good. I'm going to actually have to use some really good, um, you know, gel and things. And yeah, so yeah, using a rock and then underneath the rock, I'm going to have to use a, a piece of plastic just, just just to um, like from a soda bottle or something just to avoid any you know rock on glass um, just because the glass I, I, I just don't trust too much um, or I could try to use like something a uh, foam or even coat the bottom with something more water resistant but just to show you guys uh, you know the next features within aquascaping and stuff, you kind of pretty much have to go out there uh, once a week. Uh, go outside, you can walk around trails and stuff and you might be able to find, um, especially like during it, when it rains, um, after it rains, a lot of that, the rain will actually uh, clear out some rocks and stuff. You can probably see, see more and stuff like that, but um, yeah, maybe get, you know, enough for a job, um, maybe, you know, for for a good trip. And then just go home and then, you know, look for wood and look for rocks and you can really make, make a decent um, aquarium. So I just want to end this, uh, so these, these um, brackets and this aquarium uh, with pretty much this cover, I can lift it up. And then even like slide this forward um, having the bracket made and stuff it's really finished and actually even having the hinges it's really finished off my aquarium covers um, too bad uh, you know I could have had a lot better of uh, supplies thicker acrylic and things like that and you know but this is pretty much the best way I could make a lighted aquarium a clear uh, way for some light to get into the aquarium too and and um and not worry ab about any problems with you know moving stuff inside of the aquarium that's how you know I made this stuff from from scrap uh, from scrap pieces of plastic I actually had to go to the store and they actually had some scrap pieces so I saved a lot of money and stuff so I you know it, it turned out okay and I'm actually finished trying to refix this um, it might be a little um, it might take a while you know maybe tomorrow you know, and then I could test if it folds up and things and holes I just don't 
don't really want to bother it right now and have it fail on camera but yeah I gotta fix you know run another bead of glue and on the outside just just get it really glued up and this should be a perfect gravel filter you know just put the filter chamber on there and um, I'll see you on the next upside DIY I'm gonna be moving this this planet stuff I hope you guys enjoyed some of this stuff and I'll see you later bye